Hey folks, James Abrinio coming to you from Abrinio Law, your Northern Virginia personal injury and criminal defense law firm. So you've tried to reach out to the insurance company and settle your own case, and either they're not responding to you or they keep telling you that they need another document, another medical record, another bill, or these aren't the right kind of bills, and it feels like they're starting to play games. If you feel like that, just want to let you know you're not alone. In fact, in cases I as an attorney bring on, oftentimes we get similar results from insurance adjusters where they don't seem to be taking our offer seriously despite having put together a full demand package with a nice letter that describes everything, photographs and videos showing injuries and recovery, documents confirming lost wages, uh, and everything else that might need to be uh, reviewed by an insurance adjuster in order to fully evaluate a claim. Oftentimes, not every time, but oftentimes adjusters will say the same things to me. They'll say, James, uh, I need this bill, this one random bill that you didn't give worth $100 even though you have a $500,000 claim. Uh, I need that note uh, from the physical therapist because it skipped from December 1 to December 5th and December 3rd is not in there. Or radio silence. I can tell you I've had multiple cases, multiple significant injury cases where I will send a demand letter to an insurance company and they'll either not respond to me or they'll just keep saying, James, we need more time. I'm waiting for a supervisor. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for that. And what I'll say to that is um, I, if you're trying to handle your own claim, I would not get too frustrated about it because, again, it happens to even myself who I do this for a living. This is my day, day job. Um, but also, I want you to be aware that there are a few things that are going to be driving good offers. The first thing is, is you've got to be aware of the statute of limitations. Typically in Virginia, there's a two-year statute of limitations. It can be shorter. So let's say, for instance, you've got a claim against the county. There are other deadlines that need to be met before that two years, such as a six-month claim notice that you have to file properly. Uh, there's also a similar statute if you're making a claim against uh, the Virginia Commonwealth is, is, a, is, is an entity uh, that are shorter. But you have to be aware of your statute of limitations in your particular case because I oftentimes I'll see adjusters just trying to run out the clock. Uh, I will have – I've had multiple times where clients will call me or potential clients will call me. You know, it is one year, 10 months, 30 days, and now they've got a, a couple of weeks to get their demand letter in or, uh, or file a lawsuit or their statute is run. And I have to tell them, look, the adjuster is not your friend. Their job is not to preserve your claim for you, and if the claim is not properly filed in court, you're done. Um, and so some adjusters, unfortunately, will take the tact. Let's run out the clock on them, and by the time it's too late, it's too late. There's not a whole lot they can do. The other thing that can control timing for a demand to be responded to is what I like to do is get trial dates. So what I will typically do is when I give a demand letter, I will give sufficient time for them to properly evaluate it, or sometimes they want a nurse or somebody to evaluate it. I'll give them about a month, obviously not anywhere near the statute of limitations because I want more than plenty enough time for that uh, in case I have to file suit. And if they don't respond, I will say to them, I haven't heard from you. My month is up. My deadline that I gave you is up. If I don't hear from you by next week, I'm going to go ahead and file a lawsuit. And then I'll file the lawsuit, and I will go the extra step to get a trial date. And I'll do that as quickly as possible. That way, the insurance company knows that there's a deadline because, unfortunately, in a lot of these cases, deadlines drive movement. Um, by us establishing that we're not going to be played around with, that we're going to get a trial date. And as we march towards that trial date, we're ready to try the case. A lot of times that's the only thing that's going to get an offer prompted because that's the only way in many times you can get an adjuster or a defense attorney to take your case seriously. Whether or not it's because they think it's a game, whether or not it's because they just got a hundred other cases to deal with and the only reason that they pay attention is the deadline coming, I don't know. I'm not going to try to get into adjuster's head as to why they do what they do, but I can tell you from a response side, from a practical side, being the receiver on a non-response or a delayed response or apparent game playing by adjusters, it doesn't feel good. It frustrates me, and having done this for about 15 years now, I've taken the emotion out of it. I send a demand letter. If I get a response, great. If it's fair, then we're going to negotiate and hopefully get it settled. 
if I get a response and it's just a lame offer, well, at least then I know what's up and then I can know to file suit so we at least have some clarity. Or if I get a non-response, I'm not going to waste time. We're going to give a deadline, give an opportunity to respond. If not, then we're going to file suit and march to trial. Um, and so I can tell you I have represented a lot of people that have tried to settle their own case. They'll call me early on. They've suffered significant injury. They'll say, James, I don't really want to hire you because I don't want to have to pay you part of your contingency fee, and that's money out of my pocket. I'm going to try to get this settled myself. And a lot of times I'll tell them, feel free to do that. I have no problem with you trying to settle your own case. Just make sure you're preserving all your rights. You're not blowing your statute of limitations, and I don't want you coming to me if your statute of limitations is two years, one year, 11 months, and 28 days because I'm not going to be able to help you. Uh, in fact, I tell people I need at least six months in the statute of limitations. But I've had multiple clients that have tried to settle their own case, got no response from an insurance adjuster. I then come on the back end and then send a demand letter, and either we get a response or most likely I end up filing a lawsuit and we litigate it, and we either get it resolved by uh, settlement or by trial, which is fine one way or the other. Um, so don't get discouraged if you're trying to settle your own case. Um, if it's a complex injury case, particularly, I will tell you, more than likely, you're probably going to need an attorney because you're going to see this game playing going back and forth. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you feel confident enough to try to sell your own case, I'm not going to, you know, at the end of the day, it's your choice to make that. Uh, uh, would I advise it? Again, the case is, every case is different. Am I going to say that you've absolutely destroyed your case because I want to scare you into hiring me? Absolutely not. Um, I want to make sure that you're fully educated about your rights, about the process, and all that. You can feel free to give me a call if you have questions about it. Obviously, I can't, I'm can't. not going to like ghost write your demand letter for you and then uh, walk you through uh, negotiations, but I'll give you an idea of what I'm thinking. Uh, and the other thing I'll say is, is if you try to set your own case and it's just not working out, you can make sure to give us a call and we'll evaluate it. And if it's something that we think we can help out, we'll, we'll run with it. It's happened before and it will happen again. So phone number is 703-570-4180. You can also check us out, www.abrinio.law. Answered a bunch of questions there. Hopefully you find it useful. But I wish you the best of luck. Uh, and, again, just don't get disheartened if games are being played because that's part of the game. So thanks a lot. Wish you the best. Bye.